It's the nicest observatory in the planet. And you enter the gate and you feel like, oh my God, I want to stay here forever. This is so much more than astronomy. I'm doing tours of Black Rock Castle. I say that this is the oldest surviving structure still in use today, built in 1582. But the thing about Black Rock Castle that makes it just that bit more unique is that we have a 16-inch telescope dome up on top as well. First time to Ireland, first time to Cork for the International Space University. So coming to VCO, knowing the history of this place, saying 10 years, uh, it's a gift. Basically, it's a gift to the Cork community and to Ireland. Every, every young girl and boy out there, just so that they can dream, they can look up into the stars and know that this place is really for them. It's really cool. Black Rock Castle is just a spectacular uh, setting and they do great work there. And so uh, my association with, with Black Rock Castle up until now has been fantastic and, and now to be the patron is, is uh, quite an honor for me. So I, I, it, it's, uh, it's very, very cool. I mean, I think what BCO has meant to me personally and professionally is that it's become uh, a home, an identifiable home for astronomy uh, in Ireland. And that's hugely important in a country where we have an amazing tradition of brilliant astronomy and also where we have such an active uh, space and astronomy community. So it's a real visible um, manifestation of how amazing our community is and the work they have done in schools has been um, tremendous and, and should be seen as a beacon of what the best in science communication and education is. It's just, it's, it's a good place to go like even if you're just with your friends and it's just really interesting because when you go there you can learn so much about space. I went to school in Black Rock so we'd go on trips to Black Rock Castle and it was a great way for like schools not just like in the area of Black Rock but like further like us in Douglas to get more introduced to science which we wouldn't have done as much in primary school. In the past they did workshops with girls for um, our school and like hopefully like they can do stuff with us this year. Well like the project we built a small satellite in the size I had to fit into a can so yeah Kansas you know obviously Black Rock Castle are like connected to Kansas so a lot of the like doctors who actually I like physicists in CIT and like are connected to Black Rock Observatory as well. So they helped us a lot and like yeah, it was a really good experience. They've you know the facility to kind of share science and to share space and to share physics with the local kids of the neighbourhood and the Cork area um, has been wonderful. Um, I think it's a really exciting place for them to come and visit. There's all the mystique of coming to visit a castle. Um, and then, and I suppose the greater context, we're, we're taking an old building and we're giving it back life. The first National Space Week in 2016, I was down there, uh, two things really. I went to a Bright Club event, which I'd never been to before, and I really enjoyed it. I found it hilarious. And the other thing for me was when I looked through a telescope for the first time at the moon, out in the courtyard in Black Rock Castle. And uh, for me, that was just really a bit overwhelming, actually. I hadn't done it before, and uh, it, it's a special moment for me. Just to be in a place like this that's so old and so well kept and uh, so beautiful. And uh, outside of that, then to actually do the tour of the, the planetarium, and we were just inside the dome looking at the stars. <laughs> I mean, it's all, it's just, it's all just inspiration for writing songs. I mean, you know, terms like the sea of tranquility on the moon, it's poetry, you know? So it's, once again, it's where science and the arts kind of meet. I was really surprised to see this many people on Monday night, uh, you know, to have this community and also well informed, uh, just by the quality of the questions, their interests and uh, you know having old and young you know we have people from almost every age there whether it's from teenagers to to very mature people so i think that's really really great for the community there are loads of memorable moments but one that particularly stood out was when i was at a workshop in the crawford art gallery suddenly i found myself in a cafe drinking hot chocolate with a nasa astronaut an ESA engineer, the curator of the Crawford Art Gallery, and Claire, the manager of Black Rock Castle. 
and I've never felt so privileged. Astronomy is a, an incredible lead into the STEM fields. People, people like it. You know, you, you can go out on a clear night, and even in Ireland, sometimes you get clear nights, and you look up and you see, you see the stars. It's, I think it's super important that these kinds of environments are fully supported, and it is part of, not only part of the job, but I think a, a pleasure of the job to communicate this work. It is actually uh, a, a great thing to be invited to communicate uh, to the people. have this quite small group of people having a massive ripple right across the country in terms of space. They make such a massive impact on Ireland and spreading the word about space and STEM and education for children that, that goes way beyond the reach to the half dozen people that make it happen. BCO to me means enthusiasm, positivity, all embracing, encouraging, supporting, enabling, empowering, and at its core is curiosity. If one would say in 10 years what will Blackrock Castle Observatory look like, that would be really difficult, except that we would still want the castle to look like a castle, so that it's hearkening back to the era in which it was born. What exactly goes on inside it, I would like to almost say, I'm not sure, and I don't want to be sure right now, because I want that to be a journey which is full of surprises. So predicting it is almost like ruining it. I think we ride that wave as it goes along. <laughs>